Hey, good day, beautiful people. Greet you in a wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. First, thank you for all who are interceding and praying and understanding the way of God and how it works through the Spirit. Now, we are still working and continuing on our function and our, well, our function in the body of Christ. Who are we and what are we? Now, we talked about um, strife, we talked about battles, we talk about spiritual battles, we talk about a lot of things, actually. It's like, whoa, it's <laughs> a tough thing. But um, let's have a little quick read. Yesterday we talked about Acts. Today we're going to discuss, and this is for the Bible study group as well, we are going to discuss 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And we already talked about it a while ago. So I'm just going to see if I can quickly recap. Um, so 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Death itself has no terrors for the servant of the Lord. And um, for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God. Our body is a building of God. A house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. And this also reflects back not only our body, because that is going to decay, that's going to decease, that's like gone. Um, but in the future time, when we die, when we are with Christ, we are going to stand up and we are going to be in the internal heavens. And for in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. Now, really extremely complicated topic, this one. Um, verse 3, um, 2 Corinthians 5, verse 3, If so, that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. Verse 5, Now he hath wrought us for the, sel the same thing in God, who also has given us unto the earnest of the Spirit. Verse 7, and verse 7 is something that is written between brackets. Not quite sure um, on all the translations if verse 7 actually is there. But we say, for we walk by faith and not by sight. So that's something that's missing. Verse 10, for we must all appear before the judgment seed of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body. According to that he has done, whether it be good or bad. Uh, a really difficult um, chapter, this one. Um, verse 18. And all things are of God, we hath reconciled us to himself. Now, here we talk about the ministry of reconciliation. Verse 19. To wit, that God was in Christ reconciling. Um, the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed us to the word of reconciliation. So we talked about reconciliation, we talked about hope, we've talked about finding yourself within Christ and within God. And verse 20, now then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did besiege you. By us, and um, yeah, let's say hello to this little thing. Verse twenty-one: For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God. Like I said, two Corinthians chapter five is fairly extremely complicated. Not fairly, only just extremely complicated to really understand what it means and what it means in Christ and to be to find your identity in Christ as well. Um, a little quick analysis. Um, so chapter 5, 
verse 1. Yeah, I'm standing weird. Um, like a tabernacle or tent, the earthly body is temporary and far from perf perfect. Yeah, that is what we know. At death, believers leave behind their physical bodies, bodies and provided a vastly superior heavenly body. What does that mean? Uh, yeah, the frailty of the human frame is replaced by the permanence of an eternal dwelling place. The frailty of the human frame is replaced by the permanence of an eternal dwelling place. So we need to understand that. Um, if Paul's readers, chapter 12 to uh, verse 12 to 13 from chapter 5, if Paul's readers thought he was out of his mind, yeah, um, other translat translation says beside ourselves or out of his mind, like okay, uh, not quite sure what you're trying to say here. He wants them to know it is because he is determined to please. God and if they believed him and consented him saying he let them know it is for their sake that he speak as he does that he speaks as he does remember verse 12 to 13 we don't always understand what is going on and we don't always um, know how we need to and how we do things and why we do things because if you say you are led by the spirit the holy spirit now this like i said is a complete complicated subject chapter 5 to corinthians and if we looked at look at acts if you look at what we talk about this year if we see what is going on we go and we move and we move forward um, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, verse 11, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God. And I trust also that I am manifest in your conscience. So, so what does this mean? This is for the Bible study group. This is extremely complicated. So really understand this. Work with this one. Um, main message is death itself has no terrors for the servant of the Lord. And main focus is, uh, let's just see, verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. We all must appear. It goes back to the, oh, this is going too long. Um, May your day be blessed and weekend already. Can you imagine? Okay. Bless be.